All right, video time. Let me give you guys an update on some of these batteries that we're selling lately. These right here are our line of 12 volt batteries. Uh, there's another one though. There's a four cell one that we have and that one is different uh, than this one. It's just, I mean, it's basically half of this one, right? But I wanna talk about this ones because I think we don't even have the right pictures for these yet. I, we originally did build these the same as the smaller ones, but then, you know, very soon after we we're like, oh, we can't, we can't do that with these. These are, these are another class of batteries, right? So why is that? Well, these cells are seriously powerful. You know, every time I make a video about this, I, I sound like a broken record. It's like these things are, they can do 600 amps for 10 seconds and they can do 200, 400 amps continuous. Uh, they're rated at 200 amps, but I pushed them twice past that and they handle it like a champ. And so what ends up happening is that people are using them for very high power applications. These are designed for that, right? So these are two cells in parallel, which means that you can double those, those numbers, right? So 400 amps continuous. These things could do 800 amp continuous. And I've done a test. Uh, the slim one over there, I, uh, I'll link it in the description of this video so you can see it. Uh, and so as a result of that, this one's, all these, are basically the same batteries, just different shapes, right? Eight cells over there, 4S2P. This, this is kind of like a big battery, you know, just getting to that size. So people are putting these in cars so they can push like very high power uh, audio applications, right? So because you have really size constraints there, like, you know, tight spaces to put these in cars, that's why I wanted to make the different shapes and make them available because maybe you can't fit this in your car, but maybe you can fit this one. But maybe you can't fit this one, but you can fit this. This a lot of people are putting this behind their seats and stuff because it's long and skinny like that, right? So that's why that one's called slim. This one's the long and then this one's the fat one. That's just because it was the easiest thing to be able to identify them, right? But these are all 148 amp hours. This one, uh, 12 volts, they can do 800 amp continuous and they can do 1200 amps for 10 seconds while staying above 12 volts. We've done the tests on these, they do it. Now, why am I making a video about this? Oh, so the, the thing that's changed is the bus bars, right? So for the longest time, I've been arguing with a bunch of people in online that don't know anything about what they're talking about. And, you know, they've been criticizing me because I've used like uh, PCB boards as bus bars. And, you know, it's been fine, right? And, and all the smaller batteries that we're doing, but here is for the first time a battery uh level right or size capacity that the pcbs just can't you can do it with pcbs but then it ends up being more costly than just doing a big chunky aluminum bus bar like we have here right and so why am i gonna i'm i'm all about saving money right so I, i'm like i'm not gonna get the expensive pcb to to do these the bus bars I'm just gonna get the least expensive material that can do the job, and that is aluminum bus bars, right? A quarter inch. Uh, these have to be quarter inch because it squeezes all the electrons through this part. This can be eighth inch because then there's two pathways, so this is the same as a quarter inch plate here, and it's the same thing with these. Same thing here, same thing there. These are actually don't require any quarter inch aluminum because there's two pathways to uh, to for the current. These are basically two batteries put together side by side, and they both have a, a pathway to to the load, right? And so that's why these can get away with being eighth inch uh, plates in there. So we've done the thermal test on this stuff. You go check out the thermal test where I did 800 amp continues on this one, and you know it gets warm, but it doesn't get like you know overly hot. You know, it, uh, it, it runs out of battery before it gets to the point where it's too hot. And so we don't have these ones listed. I mean, we have them listed on the website, but I just, I don't think we have the updated pictures. And so I wanted to make a video to show you guys that uh, you're gonna get this. Uh, and so, yeah, we need to upgrade those pictures because yeah, people maybe are not buying these. You know, they don't know what they're getting. The pictures show something different and they're probably not as good as this, right? So anyways, uh, yeah, if you need somewhere around 10,000 watts <laughs> for your car audio, these are the batteries. We have three sizes. We have three different versions of them. These are the, these are the basic ones, but we have some other ones that have uh, compression plates 
And then uh, we are also offering this with this and then without this. And um, yeah, these are hard to get. We're buying them from China and they take forever and then they lose them. And so we're like daily, daily ordering these stuff and they're coming in here, but they're like half the packages are getting lost. And so we're trying to figure out a better way to source these. So I think for right now, I think some of these models might be uh, sold out. And uh, yeah, we're and then the ones that are in stock, I think they're a bit expensive, but that's because we're just having so much trouble getting this. We might have to manufacture these our own ourselves because it's just so hard to get them, right? So I'm also working on a box, a, a, a steel box in, enclosure. It's a custom enclosure that's gonna go in here and it's gonna make this battery bulletproof. Basically, you'll be able to throw it up in your trunk and you can screw it down to the, 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 the bottom, you know, the, the floor of your trunk or whatever, and then you don't have to worry about it. It will be all sealed. The only thing that's gonna be exposed maybe is gonna be the terminals, and then even that, I think I'm gonna look for a way, like a polycarbonate cover that you can screw on there once you connect your cable so that that way, you know, you don't have to worry. Because something falls on this, oh my God, it's a bad day. That thing, if it's metallic, it ain't gonna survive. This thing is gonna dump all the, the amps in there. And so, so we wanna try to make these, uh, you know, um, as safe as possible. So right now they're the cheapest that they will ever be because we have introductory prices. These will go up in price because as more and more people find out, we're just trying to, you know, we've never sold batteries for the audio world. People don't know us. People don't know if they can trust these cells and stuff. And so we're like, okay, we'll price them really low so that people will, will be compelled to take a chance on them. But once they're getting them, and then once they're seeing everybody and their friends seeing them, then all of a sudden they're going to be like, oh, my God, these things are amazing. Then they're going to want to buy them, right? But then, you know, we, we'll have to uh, higher the price as time goes by because we want to make money on them. <laughs> we don't just want to <laughs> buy them for $1 and sell them for $1. That doesn't make much business sense, right? So these will go up in price. So if you're on the fence, you might want to try these. Uh, and order one before we we up the price. We don't know when we're gonna we'll raise the price on these, but as soon as a, a dealer picks them up, then we're going to raise the price so that we don't compete with the set dealers, right? And so right now we're offering the dealer price to the end user. And so there you go. It might be your time. There you go. So these are just the LED uh, 60 cells, 148 amp hour, 12 volts for car audio. And they're going to be available at jack35.com. Look at that bus bar goodness. There you go. For all you lovers of aluminum bus bars that were, <laughs> that were uh, criticizing us for for better part of a year now that, you know, oh, I don't want to buy your dumb battery because it, you, it doesn't use aluminum bus bars. There you go. You can get the ones, right? And these actually need it. That's the reason why we're putting them. We don't put them on the smaller ones because they don't need it. The PCB stuff can handle the 600 amps, no problem. It's just the extra 600 amps that this, the, the PCBs can't handle. So there you go, just a quick video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. It's never been easier to build a DIY battery system. We live in the greatest time in history. Take a look at this fool. I mean, just look at him. Is that guy normal? I don't think he's all there. Uh -huh. No, he is low IQ. An example of the lowest kind in our society. And if he can do it, and if he can do it, what does that say about you? So, just get up and do it. Are you really going to wait until a complete collapse of the electrical grid to worry about this? Are you really going to wait? What does that say about you? Just wait until all the lights go off and your precious TikTok goes dark. You oblivious fool, don't be that guy. Well, are you? Seize the moment. Build it, build it, build it, build the power wall.